Hello, hello. I got a secret surprise for you all. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you why I do not take dating advice from women seriously. And it's gonna make sense. Okay, so this is the main reason why I do not take dating advice from women seriously. Because the dating advice that a woman is gonna give you is gonna turn you and make you into a better simp. Yes, I'm gonna say it again. The dating advice that a woman is gonna give you is gonna turn you into a better simp. And also too, she's not gonna give you the kind of advice that's gonna make women flock towards you or truly desire you, no. Or then on top of that, the advice that she gives you is gonna be stuff that her man doesn't even do. So how does it even sound good for you to even listen to it? If her man got her and, and, and he got her like that, he ain't even doing these things. So why should you even listen to what she's saying? And I'm gonna give you some examples of what I'm talking about as the bad advice that women give men. Okay, I was uh, thinking about this uh, pretty much about a, a few days ago. And um, pretty much um, I was thinking about something. I was thinking about this dating advice that my auntie gave me like about 17 years ago. It was a long time ago. And, uh, and this is such terrible advice. You know, so, but especially me being older, I think about it, it's like, wow, you know, so this is what she said. She said that if a woman really, really loves you, she's going to be sucking your dick every day. And at the time, me being young, I'm listening to her. And now me being older, I'm like, that's such terrible advice because just because a woman suck your dick doesn't mean that she likes you, especially every day, especially nowadays, you know, that's just how she just get down. So that's really more so for her because that's what she like doing. So that's terrible advice for, for especially for auntie to tell you that, okay, maybe for her, that means that she really likes the guy, but that's like, that's common. That don't mean nothing. That don't mean that pretty much. And then on top of that though, by her doing it when she feel like it, that makes it, you know, okay, she, she doing what she want to do. But, but, and also too, the other reason why, the main reason why I say that, you can't take dating advice from a woman seriously. It's because she's not going to tell you the truth as to how, what you can do to really, really hook a woman and pretty much, you know, get her, you know, so attached to you to where she actually can't leave you because she's so caught up in you. Because it's going to sound kind of crazy if it was to come down to her telling you something like this, you know, so... With some women, you know, uh, this, this is how you get them, you know. They love a man that don't give a fuck. Because when a guy don't give a fuck, he's not going out his way trying to impress her. He don't care whatever that happens. And he has a certain amount of power. So it'll sound crazy for her to say, well, don't give a fuck. You know, you know just fuck her. Leave her. Don't answer her calls for a few days. And talk to other women. And then say, okay, it's either you, you know, you know, you know, you know deal with it or not. I don't give a fuck. Because I'm the prize. To say something like that would sound crazy. And it, it would sound crazy that, you know, if I heard it say, well, you know, uh, pretty much, uh, you know, this is what it would take to get me. Because then she would have to dig into her emotions and pretty much reveal you, you know, things about her that she don't want people to know. So that's the main, main, main reason why I don't take advice from women when it comes down to dating. Because they're, they're going to tell you stuff to do that's going to make you into a better self. They'll tell you stuff like, okay, pay all her bills. You know, get her hair and nails done all the time. And speaking of that, you know, that's some other advice, you know, that somebody else gave me in my family. But I'm not going to say uh, who it was. As uh, I, think, I think about it. There was some advice that somebody else gave me. They said that always get her hair and nails done. Keep doing that. And then pretty much she's not going to want to leave you. So, yeah. So, somebody else... No, <laughs> my family gave me that advice, and then and then that's also once again, that's advice to be a better simp and a, and a better sucker because by you pretty much always getting her nail and hair done and hair done that don't make her like you. And then this is the part that most guys don't understand or don't know is you're only supposed to take care of a woman once she's your woman. Yes, but. If you're dating and, and get to know her, you ain't got to do nothing for her. You don't owe her nothing. All that technically, if you really, really want to be biblical, a man's the only supposed to take care of a woman and provide for her once that's his wife. 
You don't have to provide for your girlfriend because that's not your wife. Yeah, yeah. Let me say it again. You're only supposed to technically provide for a woman that's your wife. When she goes from her father's home to your home. If you want to be biblical with it like that. And then also, too, if you know, so pretty much stuff, that's the real. You know, the other thing I was going to say would be too much to take. But that's the main, main, main reason why. Because maybe, like I said, maybe your sister might give you some game. You know, maybe, you know, you know some better truth to the game. You know, maybe your mom is not going to give you no real good game. Because she would have to dig into her emotions and reveal some things that she don't want you to know about her past. You know, even though pretty much, you know, my mom was pretty much damn near a saint because, you know, I wasn't even supposed to be here because my mom actually was planning on being a nun and she pretty much changed her mind about being a nun once when she found out that when you're a nun, the church pretty much just uh, takes all your money and they just uh, give you a vacation like once, twice a year. And she was saying, saying that they give you some cheap shoes to wear. So once she seen that, she's like, uh-uh, you know, so she wasn't feeling that. And then soon later, she actually met my dad. So that's pretty much, uh, you know, <laughs> and, and, you know, my mom's story. But the main thing that I know is most women are not like my mom. So, so that's why I know that though, especially nowadays. These women are about attention and having fun and pleasure, you know. So not about duty. And for the most part, the other problem that which I see that a lot of guys don't think about, don't or even know, is. Most women nowadays, they do not want to be a wife. They want the wedding, but they don't want to be a wife. They don't want to do their obligation as the coming out to being a wife. And that's why the divorce rate is so high. It's 80% in the black community. And then it actually was before 1964, black Americans were married at the rate of 80%. And after it, as soon as they gave them Section 8 and, and pretty much they gave the women benefits and, and, and incentives to go and kick the man out so the women that took their power and then they just they just ran with it but all right so that's pretty much what i want to go and break down for you all today and that's the reasons why i don't seriously take dating advice from women and i hope you all like the video like share and subscribe i love you all and i'll see you all next time